Representative Mike Sells from the 38th District. How are you doing? Uh, doing fine, thank you. This is week four. What are you <clears> up to these days? Well, we finished our cutoff on bills, so it's rather hectic trying to get bills out quickly. You have a bill that has something to do with trucks and ports and transporting containers. Talk to me about that bill. Part of the problem today with um, some employers is what we call misclassification in their work. Uh, they hire people, treat them as employees, but then tell everybody that they're independent contractors, so they end up paying all of their own Social Security, have no health care benefits, have nobody that can speak up for them because you cannot organize uh, into a union because you're an independent contractor. This is being done at the Port of Seattle and by some of the companies that haul goods in and out. They're called drage companies. And what we're trying to do is address and clarify whether or not these individuals are independent contractors or their employees. We think they're employees. They're working for one company that the port is asked to do the dispatching and hiring in and out. The other problem is they'll go into the port, the port will hook up a trailer, they cannot get out and even look at the trailer to see if it's safe, but when they leave the port, they can be held accountable for that trailer. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds alarming. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. You are also working on unemployment insurance. We have two minor unemployment bills. One has to deal with a, a situation in which a woman who had been a corporate officer closed that up and went to work for somebody else and was laid off. When she was laid off from the company, she couldn't collect unemployment insurance because the records were still there that she was a corporate officer. So we're trying to address that situation. Okay. The other has to do with part-time employment. You can get part-time unemployment when you're working part-time for an employer, and when you get that, it doesn't negatively affect the rates of the employer later down the road. What we found is a minor glitch in the law where somebody worked part-time for an employer was laid off, that affects the rating, but when she went to the new employer, the department said that the rating of the old employer, which was a higher pay, affects the new employer. We're trying to clean that up. Wow. Right now, all we hear about in the halls is jobs, jobs, jobs. You actually have a jobs plan. Talk well, I have to give Representative Dunchy a, a lot of credit in the House of Representatives They're looking at our bonding processes to be able to provide a billion dollars worth of jobs and projects. You know, our construction industry can be anywhere from 40 to 60 percent unemployed, and that's what's helping slow down economic growth. We're trying to kickstart it by using our bonding processes with projects that are going to last for years. Jobs now, things that we can do with schools, with other institutional buildings, that kind of thing. And then jobs tomorrow. Yes. When you're working on the infrastructure and improving things, it's going to build for jobs down the road. You're going to give people the kind of uh, money that they'll need to spend from their jobs, and it'll help grow uh, jobs all over the state. I understand you had a telephone town hall this week. How yeah. did that go? Yes, we did. I think we had, I don't know how many people calling in uh, with any number of questions on any number of bills and issues that are going on. It's a great way to interface with uh, folks back in the district. And you did it with um, your, your seatmates? Right? Yes, with Senator Harper and Representative McCoy. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, and we will see you soon. Thank you very much.